tonight, the state is correcting data it released about greenhouse gas emissions being reduced. Their initial estimate was more than 96 times higher than the real number. The first report from the Department of Commerce said 7.5 million tons of emissions would be saved by eight rebate projects. Well, now that estimate is down to just 78,000 tons due to what the state calls human error. Todd Myers from the Washington Policy Center was the first to point out this mistake in a blog, and I spoke to him tonight. Within an hour of them releasing the report, I had identified it and actually went on Twitter and said, here is a big problem. Their report is faulty. And the very thing that I reported an hour after they released the report turns out to be a month and a half later what they've had to correct. So it's not that it was difficult to find. It was obvious if you were looking for it. But if you were just, you know, sort of trying to throw the numbers out there and say, look how great we are, that's when you make those sorts of mistakes. Despite the fact that we talk about all the time that we are leaders in fighting climate change and things like that, our climate policies really aren't very effective. And I think the fact that this report was so wrong is indicative that what we're being told about the effectiveness of our climate policy doesn't match the results in the real world. The rebate projects are funded by the Climate Commitment Act, which charges the largest polluters in our state. Voters rejected an initiative to repeal the act in 2024.